Tom Sturridge has recently been mesmerizing viewers in the Netflix series The Sandman, an adaptation of the comic books written by Neil Gaiman. He plays the lead role of Dream, also known as Morpheus, and Tom did a remarkable job of playing this character, with his ice-cold attitude and intense physical appearance including pale skin and black hair. We'll talk about just how dedicated Tom got to playing Dream authentically and what it entailed. But before The Sandman, Sturridge already had plenty of work under his belt as an actor and started his career as a child, falling in love with acting on stage first. His family, as well as some of his closest friends, like Robert Pattinson, are in showbiz, so it seems like it may have been his destiny all along. But if you want to learn more about Tom Sturridge's early life and rise to fame, then stay tuned because we're going to get into all of that and more here for you on Famous Life. Thomas Sidney Jerome Sturridge was born on December 21st, 1985 in London, England, to father Charles Sturridge and mother Phoebe Nichols. His father is a director who has had a long list of projects that he's worked on, best known for directing The Road to Coronation Street, Churchill's Secret, and more while his mom Phoebe is a well-known actress who's had a long and successful career. Probably what she's most recognized for was her small but pivotal role in the 1980 Oscar nominee for Best Picture, The Elephant Man, starring Anthony Hopkins, directed by David Lynch. Tom is one of three children, with his sister Matilda Sturridge also being an actress. In fact, he actually comes from a long line of family members who are artists or in showbiz. Tom's maternal grandfather was Anthony Nichols, a Shakespearean stage actor who went on to have a 30-year career in film and TV. According to Tom, though, he said having a famous family didn't help him land roles, which does seem to be true, because the project that launched his career for the most part, the play Punk Rock, none of his family members had anything to do with. In an interview, Tom also touched on how he was a mischievous child at times, saying, If I'd been a parent to myself, I would have been scared, because I was only ever interested in my own thoughts. As a parent, I would also have wanted me to read in a serious, personal way. As a grown-up, I know it's the quickest way to realize that the world is far bigger than your dick. At least now I'm aware of how thoughtless I am. Well, regardless, Tom attended the Herodian School when he was young, an independent school in Barnes located in southwest London. Fellow actors who also attended the Herodian School included Robert Pattinson, Will Portier, and George McKay. The school was founded in 1993, which made it relatively new at the time. Sturridge was also one of its earliest students. The Herodian School was founded in a building that was once known as the Herodian Club, which was a clubhouse and sports facility for Harrods employees. The owner of Harrods, the popular department store in London, twice tried to sue the school for using their name. The second time came after a scandal when the school's founder fired the headmistress and his wife after she had an affair with the teacher. One of Tom's classmates from the Herodian school wound up becoming one of his best friends. In fact, before Tom would even reach global fame with the Sandman, he was better known as a simply working actor, connected to more famous individuals. Not only did Tom used to date actress Sienna Miller and the two share a childhood, but he was known for being Robert Pattinson's best friend. Much like Sturridge, he is against the idea to being resistant to the idea that his family pushed him into acting. He also pushes back against the idea that Pattinson helped him either. Tom said, I went to school with my best friend. We've been at school since we were 13, so that's why he's my friend. I know people because that's my job. Between 1999 and 2001, Sturridge attended Winchester College, an independent school for boys in Winchester, Hampshire, and boarded at the college's House E. Tom has also revealed that he decided to end his journey with school for pursuing more education, and left during A-levels, a decision that many would consider bold, but he knew he wanted to work as an actor. Tom technically began his career working as a child actor and first appeared in the 1996 TV adaptation for Gulliver's Travels, directed by his father and co-starring his mother, but he didn't consider that to be his first role. He has said, I wasn't a child actor. It was just three weeks of my life when I was eight years old, he told The Guardian. My dad just needed a child actor, and it's a scary responsibility to bring a child into the film world where they may be potentially lionized, adored, and abandoned to it by their families. My dad knew that he would still be my dad when filming stopped. Tom returned to acting in 2004 with Vanity Fair and Being Julia, and a year later, he played William Herbert in Third Earl of Pembroke in BBC Four's A Waste of Shame. In 2006, Tom was in the psychological thriller Like Minds, also known by the name Murderous Intent, which tells the tale of two boys, Alex and Nigel, played by Tom, placed together as roommates despite Alex's objection. Alex is scared but fascinated by the rituals of death occurring around them, and when Nigel is murdered, Alex is blamed. Sturridge was cast as the lead in the sci-fi trilogy Jumper, but two months into production, New Regency and 20th Century Fox, who were behind the movie, 
were worried on spending over $100 million on a film with more or less an unknown actor, thus replacing Tom with Hayden Christensen. In 2009, Tom played Carl, one of the leads in the comedy The Boat That Rocked, which was also known as Pirate Radio in the United States. Also in 09, Tom would make his stage debut in Punk Rock, a play by Simon Steffens at Lyric Hammersmith Theater, which proved to be somewhat of a breakthrough moment for Tom in his career. While he had on-screen roles here and there, Tom wasn't completely sure about acting being his profession until he started in this play. Punk Rock tells the story of seven students studying for exams at British Secondary School and Sturge plays the sensitive dreamer William in a tense environment full of violence and bullying and eventually erupts into shocking violence, based in part on the Columbine High School shootings and writer Simon Steffen's own experience as a teacher. Tom has said there was something about this play that was different from all his other roles, and it made acting seem like the right choice. He explained, It was something that I can't articulate, but it felt important, and it felt like it was something I could do. For that performance, Tom was nominated for Most Outstanding Newcomer in the 2009 Evening Standard Awards and won the 2009 Critics Circle Theatre Award in the same category. But for Tom, the awards were less important than the role. He said awards are irrelevant, they're nice if you have an ego, and I've yet to meet someone without an ego, but I knew from the first day of rehearsing punk rock that something awesome was happening, and that feeling was all about what we were doing. Tom appeared with Rachel Bilson in the 2011 indie romance Waiting Forever, and also played a role based on the poet Allen Ginsberg in the 2012 film adaptation of Jack Curico's On the Road. In 2013, Tom starred on a Broadway play Orphans as Philip, who's developmentally disabled, and for this role he was nominated for a Tony Award. In 2017, he starred as Winston Smith in the Broadway production of 1984. In 2019, Sturridge walked alongside Jake Gyllenhaal in the Broadway play Seawall, A Life, for which he received another nomination for a Tony Award. In 2021, Tom was confirmed to play Dream slash Lord Morpheus in the Netflix series The Sandman, based on the comics written by author Neil Gaiman, which ran from 1989 to 1996 and published by DC Comics. In a 2022 interview, Gaiman estimated that he had personally seen about 1,500 actors audition for this lead role, but claimed Tom had been among the likeliest to be chosen for the role from the time of the first 10 auditions. Now that we've seen him kill it as this character and the lengths that Tom has gone to in order to really embody it, we can see why. The Sandman is about Dream, the titular Sandman who escapes after decades of imprisonment and attempts to reclaim his lost equipment. Gaiman himself created the series along with the Dark Knight writer David S. Goye and Wonder Woman scribe Alan Heinberg. In fact, Tom himself spent years obsessing over the Sandman's comics, but he got the job not only because of that fandom, but of course of his remarkable skill and talent. Already, Tom is being heavily praised for his performance as Dream or Morpheus, and many are saying that he's perfect for the role, but it wasn't a walk in the park physically or mentally to live up to such a beloved character. To meet the fans' expectations, Tom really had to embody the cosmic being the best he could. He said about playing this character, Initially I was lost. I didn't know. I think you're absolutely right, there's an extraordinary breadth of expression inside him. What's amazing about Sandman as a whole is it's this enormous world in which you spend so much time with him and his complexity only increases. And rather than rely on special effects, Tom took note of Christian Bale's playbook, Lycan the Mechanist, and decided to go method, which is intense to say the least. Tom also said about his character more recently, Dream has no flesh on him. He just shakes with energy and is just made of muscle. I didn't eat very much for months leading up to the filming and did a lot of exercise. And really, with Dream's lifeless look, we can see the lengths that Tom went to. He also said he aimed to build a body that truly felt like a creature and was true to the images in the comics. Tom said, As far as how difficult that was to achieve, it was in the sense that it required discipline in working out and not eating that much. But actually, acting is such an ephemeral job. We're constantly trying to catch clouds when we go to work. To work out is really easy, because you just do six things they tell you, and it happens. While it wasn't much fun according to Tom to undertake this intense workout regimen and eating plan, or lack thereof, he was more worried about the reaction of millions of fans who loved the Sandman, wanting them to be pleased jokingly adding that this was weighing me down more than the weights. Well, I'm sure this iconic portrayal of Dream slash Morpheus in the Sandman is only just the tip of the iceberg of what Tom Sturridge is capable of, and we can't wait to see what's next for the talented actor. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life, leave a comment for who you'd like to see featured next, and we'll see you another time.